What's going on guys? My name is Josh and I'm back today with the I Know What You Did Last Summer trailer breakdown. Before I get into it, if you could please like this video and subscribe to the channel, then you better watch out because it's time to get this video started. Let's go. So yes guys, we got the I Know What You Did Last Summer trailer today. Um, if you haven't watched it, I definitely would recommend checking it out. And there's a lot in that trailer, especially in the beginning. And I kind of want to do a trailer breakdown the best I can. There's a lot I don't, I feel like I don't know yet because I don't know any of these characters, but I'm going to try to interpret it the best I can. So, and this, as far as me interpreting this as well, it will be out of order, um, but I'm just going to kind of break stuff down. So first up, it does look like the main character of this show is going to be played by Madison Eisman. She's going to be playing our main character. But what's interesting is Madison Eisman is going to be playing twins. So we actually see them in the trailer that there is two identical twins. Um, just looking at the trailer though, it does seem like one of them, the one that the I think that is the main character is more of a wild child, while the other sister is not so she's more like kind of like a goody two-shoes so one sister who's wild one who's more like a goody two-shoes next we see we see a clip of one of the sisters saying you know it's impossible to be your sister so it looks like the goody two-shoes sister is kind of saying this to the more out of control sister this definitely would say gives me flashbacks to helen and elsa in the original i know what you did last summer you know we saw you know helen was having fun and elsa was kind of quick to ruin her fun and tried to ruin her good time. So that's kind of what that gave me a flashback to, but two sisters, um, we see in this clip that, yeah, they're fighting um, and one of them doesn't agree with the other sister's action. So next up, it does look like the sister who is more like the wild child one, it does look like she might be partying, maybe she's on drugs, it's kind of hard to tell. It is graduation night, but it definitely looks like she is kind of letting loose and having fun. We do see that she does make out with Brienne Tiju's character. And what it's kind of unclear though is, I don't think they're actually a couple or anything like that. It, to me, it almost looks like they're making out with each other for attention. And we've saw some of like a, a, a picture of them two together. And to me, it almost, yeah, seems like they're doing it for attention. And we do see a, a clip of, you know, Brian Tisha's character saying pretty much um, this party, this night's going to be epic. And she's recording it on social media. So if her character is kind of about social media, I almost feel like maybe they're making out with each other for attention and for like social media. Could be wrong on that, but that's kind of what I gathered. Now, one thing I do want to say, oh, another thing, it does seem as well, just from, um, and this is a picture that was released, not part of the trailer, a picture that was released though. It does seem that the twin, I think who's the main character, um, the one who's kind of the more wild child, it does look like she, I don't know if she's dating Sebastian Amorusu's character or maybe they're flirting or just friends, but there's like some kind of flirtation there. We do see a picture of them at the beach and it definitely reminds me of Julie and um, Ray at the beach in the original I Know What You Did Last Summer. So I definitely think there is something there between them. And then also in the very beginning of the trailer, when the trailer first starts out, we see their their characters look at each other. So I do think there is some kind of, they're either together or there's some kind of attraction there at least. And now one thing that I'm, I guess I'm unclear about, it almost looks like the other twin, the Goody Two Shoes twin, maybe dating Ezekiel Goodman's character. Um, could be wrong in that, but it does seem like they could be dating. And what is interesting though, it does look like at one point, one of the twins takes Ezekiel Goodman's character upstairs. So what I'm unclear about is, if do they hook up? Um, it does seem, though, like the twins do get in an argument because we see, we hear one of them say, or we hear one of some some of the well, some characters saying, "If it wasn't me, it would have been someone else." The um, the way I interpret that, and I could be wrong, but I almost feel like the wild child twin sleeps with the good twins boyfriend who is played by Ezekiel Goodman. So I almost think the, yeah, the sister sleeps with the other sister's boyfriend and that's what causes the fight between them. Um, just based on just their, that interaction. Um, if it wasn't me, it would have been someone else. So I think that is kind of what starts this fight between them at this party. 
Now, next we see that it looks like this is going to be after the accident. We see it looks like um, the actor Sebastian Sutherland, who he kind of like drives by the accident and then looks like Ashley Moore's character and Brian Tiju's character have to distract him um, about the accident. That's very reminiscent of very like Easter egg, like the original I Know What You Did Last Summer when Max pulled up and the uh, pretty much they had to distract him from and hide the body. So that definitely reminds me of the original and Easter egg as far as that goes. Now next we see, looks like someone is being dragged, we see feet and we see someone being dragged away. To me, this says that the killer's killing someone. So whoever the killer is, he's murdering someone and dragging them off. So we're seeing a murder scene. Um, it looks just from the feet and the legs, it looks like it's a girl. Who, um, that I'm not sure. Now next we see, looks like Bran Tiju, she is seeing something. To me, just looking at this picture, the still shot is, I think she found a body. So to me, it looks like she found a body. Now next, so then we, um, so we do know, um, next we see a, we see the text message saying, I'm coming for you with the clown face. To me, this is, de well, this is definitely the killer. The fact that it's a clown face though, really makes me think that the clown or the killer is gonna be in a clown costume. I don't think he's gonna be in the fisherman costume. I do think it's gonna be a new costume and I think it's gonna be clown themed. Um, based on that, could be wrong though, maybe he'll still be the fisherman and just kind of, when he's texting them and leaving his mark, it might be a clown symbol he leaves, but just the way reading that, I almost feel like this new killer is going to be clown themed. Um, now, one thing, though, I, I do want to point out is who do they hit? So we know that these characters are going to hit someone and then cover up the body. And then later, the killer is going to find out about this and pretty much, you know, start threatening them um, with that he knows their secret. So just watching this trailer... I almost think one of the twins is gonna die and I think it's gonna be the, the Goody Two Shoes twin. Cause if we look in the beginning of the trailer when it's at the party, we see you know the two twins at the party. But then whenever we see any of the flash forward pictures, it looks like there's only one, one of the characters there. Uh, Madison Eisman's only showing, there's only one of them there. So I really do think the twin that's the Goody Two Shoes is gonna die. And I really think that, you know, Something's good. They're gonna fight at the party. Maybe you know the one of the twins sleeps with the other twins boyfriend and that causes a fight between them and then the other characters kind of leave for the night and then later they accidentally hit the goody two-shoes twin or maybe she tries to commit suicide kind of like the hint like the original 19 or um I know what you did last summer where we had the, you know, I think one of the characters, they thought they killed someone because he was committing suicide and he was standing on the road and they hit him. So uh, something with that though, I think something with that fight is going to be, is going to be one of the twins is going to die. And I think the twin who does live, the uh, wild child twin, I do, and I got to give her a name or I hopefully I know her name soon because I got to stop calling her a wild child, but that's just who I'm referring to her as. I do think she's going to be, have tremendous guilt because, you know, her sister dies and she's partly to blame because of their fight or she's going to blame herself because of the fight. Now, one other still that was released as well that was not part of the trailer that really makes me think that one of the twins dies, it looks like we see Madison Eisman and looks like her dad in the show are hugging and her dad's holding her. The way I take that is, you know, her sister died, her dad's comforting her because her sister died. Um, so yeah, I just, from all of watching this trailer, I really think it's gonna be one of the twins that die and they cover the secret up and then later on, whoever this killer is, finds out the truth and it starts stalking them. And then we just kind of see them saying like who did you tell or kind of now nervous that you know there's a killer after them um i do think when they do get that text message i oh i do kind of believe that that is the first time they the killer reveals himself so i think that's going to be the first time the gang realizes that someone knows their secret and someone's stalking them and after them. Um, I know looking at um, Brian Tiju's character, her hair, it was long in the, the 
before at graduation night. Then fast forward, I made short. At first I thought maybe the killer did this, kind of like the killer chopped Helen's hair off in the original I Know You the Last Summer. But just judging by this, I do think this is the first time the killer revealed himself. So I don't think the killer is going to cut Brianne Tichu's hair off. I just think maybe she cuts, she cuts it short herself. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of my interpretation as far as this trailer. It's kind of hard because I feel like they showed a lot of this trailer was that party scene. And then shortly after the, you know, the end of the trailer was the accident and then the killer revealing himself. But that's my interpretation of the party scene. What do you guys think? Do you think I'm way off? Do you think that, you know, um, yes, just please leave your comments below and speculate with me. I definitely welcome it. And yeah, um, thank you for watching.